If you are in a new country, in a new city and there is so much to see, so many things to choose from, how do you start? Where do you start? My style is I start with the weirdest sounding thing. And there was one weirdest sounding thing in Ljubljana that I started from as soon as I finished my nap. Just wait for this intro and we'll get into that. Hello, welcome to Sunny Escapades and we are talking about my trip to Slovenia and in the last one we got to the point where I had just reached Ljubljana and I was so tired I just had to take a nap. Now let's pick up where we left off. So after that I thought okay now I can go out and I want to explore a little bit. This is my day because tomorrow I was planning to go to the other city which is Lake Blade. So I thought okay now how do I get there and the only way to get there was by taxi. Buses, the public transport in Ljubljana it's okay but if you are a tourist you will struggle a bit um so for that reason i did not like this hotel very much because it was a little bit outside of the main area of the city so every time you wanted to go anywhere that was worth seeing or worth hanging out about uh, you had to take a taxi the taxi cost 10 euros so I took a taxi and i wanted to see where can i go so i went to the triple bridge the okay, triple bridge is a very nice area and why is it called a triple bridge let me tell you so this bridge is so unique it doesn't just connect two sides of river it actually tells a story of its history this was originally designed as just one stone bridge way back in 1842 but as the city grew and with that the traffic grew as well so there was more demand Jose Plesnik who was Ljubljana's famous architect he decided to instead of replacing the bridge he added two more bridges on the side for pedestrians so you know like thinking outside of the box to solve a problem and here's the thing about this bridge this is not just a bridge this is literally three bridges side by side and it's called triple bridge but it's actually a gathering spot anytime you want to hang out you want to find the proper watering hole of the city in Ljubljana go to triple bridge there are lots of restaurants there are outdoor seating as well there are pubs around there are lots of bars the, uh, and there is like a this is space to sit there's a space to hang out this is called the president square okay and it is usually buzzing there are sometimes street performers and market stalls and and both locals and tourists go there and I spent a lot of time there in the day and then also I came back in the evening and uh, it was yeah it was great this river that the bridge is on is Ljubljana I think Ljubljana ah oh, not easy to pronounce and I have not lived there for any length of time so please forgive me for the pronunciation but anyway so I saw the triple bridge and I walked around a little bit I went to the Ljubljana castle as well for that I bought the tickets online I think they were 14 euros things were a little little bit on the expensive side like in Europe I'm used to finding prices which are much cheaper in Ljubljana things were around London prices mostly so food especially so I thought okay uh, so went to the castle as well and then there's a funicular that goes to the castle and there's also a pedestrian you know that like you can take the steps going up I was thinking I'll take the funicular to go up because it was the sunset was gonna happen soon and then I'll come back by foot so the funicular I had to stand in a long queue it was moving so it was like maybe 20 minutes wait in the line to get the tickets and the tickets were cheap like three euros for just the funicular though okay the castle tickets i already had on my phone so okay when we got to the funicular there's always a crowd you know even though there's a queue there's always a crowd and i wanted to get a good video so what i did was i got a grip of the, the support rail between two people and the guy who was on one side of that he saw that i had a little camera so he moved out and he said oh you can you can come here like i was worried whether he found me rude or something but he's like no no come on so he was a german guy and when he was talking to his girlfriend I just why when I found out that he was German guy he's like yeah I'm just trying to be nice so like yeah so that's good so <laughs> because of him I got the front the space in the funicular and I got a like nice shot of the city because the funicular actually goes very high and then as it moves up you get a, like a smooth shot it looked really beautiful from there as you can see I'm sure so yeah sometimes you see nice people people do nice things for you and it's a good experience but even after getting there there were lots of 
steps after that to go into the castle and go into different parts of the castle and I was panicking because the sunset was about to happen the time was right and I wanted to find the right spot went to one terrace it was not good and ultimately I had to go to the tower didn't want to go to the tower because I knew there will be lots of steps so yeah it was a congested space and there were a lot of steps and uh but they had sorted it out so there were steps to go up and there were steps to go come down and on the other side but a lot of steps yeah but anyway so ultimately I got to the top and it was crowded but still you get space when you have these spaces I found that I never have to you know push my way through or you know be rude or elbow people because if you just stay there for a couple of minutes people do realize that this is a busy in-demand place so they will go there take their pictures and then move out and let other people come in so you do get your shot easily I have found that which is I think a good thing to learn that humans are at least smart enough to know that these things are in demand so yeah let's everybody share them properly but ultimately I was not that thrilled about this sunset if I'm honest it sat behind the Alps very very far away so you did not get any kind of like disc shape or anything like that and the view was not amazing I'm just used to amazing sunsets okay I'm spoiled I don't want to be snobbish about the sunset it was nice it was pretty but not the best I have seen okay so anyway we took the pictures from there and then after it was a little bit uh, windy a little bit cold so after about 20-25 minutes I came back down instead of walking down I just bought another ticket for the funicular because it was getting dark already and I knew I've already got the pictures and videos on the top spot so I would not see anything different from halfway spots which was uh, the idea in taking the steps so I just took the yeah the three euros and there was a machine this time you could just buy the tickets from the machine okay so after that I came back down and then I wanted to find some t-shirts because I had not packed any t-shirts at all this time I wanted to just buy from there and I did not find t-shirts okay so ultimately I found one shop and it had really really good designs and this is a sad story because the price was 18.90 per t-shirt that was quite expensive in my opinion even in Paris you can get a t-shirt for about 12 euros okay so I was like ah, no I don't want that much so I thought okay I'll find somewhere else uh no the sad story is that I did not find that level of uh, great t-shirts anywhere else I found t-shirts which were good enough and they were slightly cheaper only but design wise I had to compromise so sometimes when you like something a lot maybe just bite the bullet and bite and that also meant that I had to wear the same t-shirt two days in a row not the end of the world but anyway so designs were good but price was not good so I left that then I looked for food I was getting very hungry by this time because remember I just had that little snack you can call it at the airport so by the time it was evening so I thought okay let's find some place where we can eat so I walked around a lot looked on Google a lot ultimately I found a place which was like a street food okay and it had a menu printed outside I like those places because usually they are quite cheap and the food is also very good in those places in Oxford also we had a place which was like a falafel truck and you could have a nice falafel there uh, which was really good when you went partying or if you were coming back in the evening uh, it was a nice place so that's the kind of things I miss about Oxford by the way but yeah so this place was problem was it was nice and they had a vegetarian options as well, a couple of vegetarian options as well for burger I wanted to have a vegetarian burger I could not because they only had cash payment method oh uh, I did not have any cash so this time again I learned that you should take at least a few euros with you so I do travel to Europe quite a lot to the country which take euros so I should just keep some of them with me uh, at least maybe five ten euros if not more this price was like maybe uh, about four or five euros but uh, it, I did not have even that much okay so fine I had to find an ATM when I found the ATM it just pissed me off because every ATM I found they were charging about five euros or six euros for withdrawing any amount of money I'm like what the hell so I did not want to pay that much that hurts me if I had to pay that fees it makes me angry so I didn't want to pay that much just to have a burger uh, I asked chat GPT I asked Google Maps and they kept trying to bring me to these ATMs because I found on from online as to which ATMs do not charge money and those ATMs did not even exist so Google Maps would bring me to like a plain wall like what the hell uh, chat GPT was no better as well so okay I don't know if you want to go to Ljubljana want to find it find it beforehand I don't get money at the airport because that's usually quite expensive whether it is from London airport or Ljubljana airport it will be expensive uh, not good prices so that will be like paying the five pound fee there 
so no point anyway ultimately i said okay let's find some other place to eat i found another place to eat and this was a find by the way it was called ab falafel abi and very small place equivalent of a lunch counter they had a few tables but not enough tables for everybody to go around so i had to share a table with two girls but the food was good and their prices were normal prices not cheap not expensive but okay again perfect english the staff was really good and you order the counter i ordered falafel and uh, i ordered fanta they gave me their local version so yeah i shared that table and then had that oh my god that falafel was so awesome amazing i like falafel generally anyway i like mediterranean food a lot but this one was really good and it was really big as well lots of different sauces and dips and things oh i tried to finish it i could not finish it it was just too much but it was good enough that i would have it again i was thinking like next day or when i, when I come back to ljubljana i should come back here it was really really good so i was very full when i left and the fanta the the equivalent the european equivalent was also very nice and this one cost me 11 90 for the falafel and about like 290 for the fanta thing so not very expensive it was okay for a for a dinner you can do that much so after that i didn't feel like walking anymore because it was a bit chilly uh, and also like dark but also i was very full so tired as well from so much traveling so in ljubljana if you want to travel by taxi there's an app called yala y-a-l-l-a -L -L -A. okay so you can install that from android play store and then just use that it was quite easy to set up i just set it up right away uh, before that i had been walking around i had seen a dragon bridge as well which was nice and uh, so once i was like okay now get back so i got the taxi and the taxi number was lj hyphen yala just like the app what would you guess from that so the guy spoke perfect english and he took card payment as well which was really good and when i got to the hotel i asked him like are you the guy because i asked him as to is this app very useful do people use it how many taxis they have and uh, he gave me something like, yeah they have some cars and some some answers when i got to the hotel i was like are you the guy who made this app he said yeah <laughs> okay so that's why his car number was license plate was lj yala lj is just short for Ljubljana. By this time, I was like very tired to do anything writing or anything like that. So I thought I'll just take a short nap and just went to bed directly. But I got up after a short while and I was still very, very groggy. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to sleep as long as I can. So I just let myself sleep without any alarms or anything. And I got up about 11.20. Remember, this is like winter. So in November, the day uh, sets very early. So I had got to the uh, hotel, back to the hotel also about eight half eight something like that so about uh half past 11 i woke up and i said okay i should do something because i from there i could not sleep all night into the morning so i did the smart thing got up i wrote up my you know my travel diary my notes and everything and i copied the data from the photos and videos and all that kind of thing um, and uh, by this time i finished it was like about two o'clock so i thought i'll sleep about three and then sleep again another three hours or so because uh, Ljubljana is one hour ahead of uh, london so uh, by the time three o'clock then i was thankfully able to sleep again that was really i was happy with that <laughs> Um, next day so this is where I'm going to end the story of this day the day one which was a very very long day but next day was going to be a very exciting and adventurous day because next day I picked up the rental car I have not rented a car in Europe before uh, so this time was the first time I was just going out of my comfort zone to do this and I was going to drive to Lake Blade I was going to keep this car for about four days for driving around because you know uh, it's much easier Easier, more flexible to go by that but they drive on the right hand side and I was going to have a new car so it was an adventurous I made some mistakes as well but I would say you should subscribe so that you don't miss that next video which is going to be a story in itself thank you very much for watching I hope you're enjoying these and I'll see you in the next one bye bye